Once again, and this time I'm going to show you all of the possible drapery collections. The current drapery collection I have up is the Dragon Collection. Um, it is a dark green kind of elaborate. And as you can see, there are three curtains. Or I guess two, sorry, I'm kind of stupid. Possible ones that go down the length of the uh, throne room, I guess you could call it. The um, dragon set of throne drapery and decor, I believe, is part of the digital deluxe game though I can't tell you for sure. <laughs> the next drapery set I'm going to show you is the Parvalen curtains, part of the Kunari DLC content. The Kunari drapery is um, rather plain, not that big, consisting of rather simple patterns, as you can see. It's so dark in the main corridor, it's hard to really show you guys this stuff. At least this one's gonna be a lot faster than showing you guys the bed, as I'm not gonna have to run between my chambers and back over and over again. The next drapery I'm going to show you is the Prospect Basin drapery. Now this one is extremely plain as far as tapestry goes, as like as well as the have our decorating style go, mainly not focusing on embellishments or fancifulness at all and keeping it simple and functional. This is the Prospect basin drapery. As you can see, it shows traditional Avar symbols as well as a um, striped hide material. Inquisitor? The next drapery is the Avard drapery. Again, like the Frosted Basin, is relatively plain as they focus on function rather than design or uh, fancification, because I'm pretty sure I probably just made up that word. It is mainly consisting of hides and furs. Again, as you can see, it is extremely plain and almost not visible with the dark setting Inquisitor. of the thing. There is slight design, a couple ribbon, and almost looking tarnished to some degree. The next drapery is the Kunari drapery. Now this is a basic drapery. The basic draperies can be purchased in the furniture shop in Valroyo upon unlocking Skyhold. The Kunari Drapery consists of traditional canary patterns as well as a canary symbol and a striped pattern made of, I want to say, silks and rope or fur, maybe? Hard to tell. So I'm 
the next drapery is the chastened drapery. It is quite plain as well as chastened are, I believe, a type of Avar tribe or similarly related to the Avar in terms of culture and ways of life. So theirs is relatively plain as well, though it features a little bit more decals. As you can see, the chastened is rather plain, consisting of simply materials and a little bit of bolting embellishment, though as you can see, there's a little bit of wear and tear pattern to it, as well as a braided and embedded trim. The next drapery or drapery is the circle of magi drapery. The Circle of Magi drapery is a little bit more elaborate with some um, decal and patterns on the very top as well as some embellishments towards the top with a striped and decal almost wool or woven slash braided looking material pattern to it such as a um, saddle pad on a horse would look or I guess a saddle blanket, sorry about that. Next drapery will be the Grey Warden drapery. Now this one has some embellishments more than other drapery. As you can see, a lot of the drapery is pretty plain. <coughs> Again, sorry about the coughing, guys. I'm still sick and yet to get over it. Kind of love bronchitis, am I right? <laughs> the Grey Warden drapery invol involves elaborate patterns among the top as well as traditional Grey Warden patterns as you can easily see above the Queen's room. There is embellishments on the top as well as a um, material difference of again an extremely woven look and some um, pretty neutral blue colors. Yet again, the next drapery is the Taventer Imperium, which as Taventer is, is way more elaborate, as they oh so enjoy their luxurious design and culture, as you can easily tell by Dorian fashion, accessories, and personality. The Tvinder drapery features embellishments of dragons, such as seen on Vivian's room, as it's probably going to be dark to tell down here, along with white in their traditional green coloring, so commonly seen. It features a um, slightly striped and arid design, <coughs> along with trimming. Again, the next drapery is the Templar drapery. Now this one features some, ah shit, I have no idea what they're called, but the um, braided embellishments hanging down from it, as well as some additional embroidery and character. Character, character is not the right word in that case. <laughs> Whoopsie. As you can see, it's much more elaborate. By looking at Vivian's room, you can really see the embellishments upon the top and the trim. 
Now the um, material pattern is again rather simple, almost looking woolen with a little bit more pattern and textures to the overall appearance. The next drapery is the Inquisition drapery, which you <sighs> achieve at the beginning of Skyhold, I believe. If not, it is part of the digital deluxe content. No, actually, yeah, this is one achieved at the beginning of Arrival upon Skyhold. There is moderate embellishment and an overall semi-elaborate design with a lot of um, blue texture and embellishment upon the top, as you can see easily from Vivian's room. The pattern consists of the overall woven pattern with a um, more detailed design across the bottom. <coughs> Jesus, I keep coughing. Uh, Keep accidentally doing that. Sorry, guys. Again, the next drapery is the free marches. Now, this one's um, more elaborate than some of the predecessors and features the traditional oh so well seen free marches slash Kirkwall design with the weird sun slash crown looking embellishments and some embellishments adorning the top, similar to the Templar and Inquisition, as you can see mainly on Vivian. The material and patterns are triangles in this case with an overall plain trimming. The next drapery is the Dwarven drapery, featuring traditional Dwarven oh, style gotcha. patterns and <laughs> relatively few embellishments compared to some of the other drapery options available. Ah, oh, there's so many drapery options, this is tedious as all hell. <laughs> but somebody should do it. As you can see, over Vivian's room, there's relatively few adornments on the top in a pretty simplistic overall pattern. Inquisitor? Dwarvins keep to their traditional red and gold pattern with the Orzmar style trimmings of a somewhat angular or geometric style patterning, somewhat resembling bricks or stone masonry to some degree. Yet again, the next drapery is the Delish 2 drapery, which in features some embellishments upon the top as well as natural colors easily found in nature as Elish elves. Extremely um, inhibit and appreciate nature in all its value and design. As you can see, the Delish drapery is pretty simple but features a neutral green pattern or color and relatively few notable trimmings. Drapery is the Daywish 1 drapery, Almost which again gotcha. is rather plain as Daywish keep it simple and natural. So this um, they wish one drapery is a little bit more elaborate, as you can see with Vivian's, based on the trim and design, specifically along the top. Now the design features a 
stylish elf or ancient elven inspired design as well as more elaborate gold woven trips. Ah, we only have a couple left, thank god, right guys? Ah, it's kind of obvious to see why nobody ever showcases the bed options or other skyhold customization. The Androstian Chantry, or Chantry Drapery is showcasing next, which features simpler, or, er, um, similar Chantry embellishments, draper, drapery, and heraldic. Herodity, boy, I'm so done with English today. All this talking makes me want to cry. As you can see, it features the traditional red, gold, and silver style with embellishments along the top. The pattern consists of traditional, relatively simple gold trim and a red, very distinguishing color such as the Sunburst Throne design and Chantry Sister colors. The next drapery is the Orlesian drapery, which as our layers features somewhat elaborate design, color, pattern, and material choices. As you can see, the Orlesian banner features the blue royalty of the Orlesian Empire as well as some pattern design, though relatively few embellishments upon the top. As you can see, it is a velvety silk looking with a lot of detail embroidery. <coughs> oh, this the stocking is going to kill me, guys. Oh. Especially with the amount of broadcasts I'm doing, got to finish the rest of Skyhold customization choices as well as the second to final main quest, which I've been holding off for a while now, but i just been trying to finish up the last of the side quests and I have completely finished those by now, so yay me. <laughs> That and I've also finished upgrading entirely all of my taunt potions and grenades, which took forever. As you can see, this drapery is relatively simple with a um, somewhat greenish yellow looking color and some blue embellishments upon the top. Now I can see it specifically it's more yellow with some simple trim and embroidery with a little bit of rippling towards the bottom. Almost done, guys. Bear with me. Uh, more like I need to hold on to my sanity. All right. Finally, the last drapery is the basic drapery, as it's basic, and as you can tell from the little tiny preview picture, it is very basic. So this one is quite easily the least interesting drapery out of all of them. But you know. Everyone's got to start from somewhere. As you can see, this drapery is very plain and tattered looking with a very beige, disgusting looking color. It looks very dirty and tarnished, almost like a um, torn canvas. As you can see, it has a lot of wear and tear and almost looks dirty or stained. That's it for the drapery. And I shall continue on with the rest of the customization here in a second. And it is time for Ethan the Mighty Dragon to quench the flame and continue on. Bye, guys.